All right, we've had 30 shaves with this Nasset blade. There's little 30 dots right there. We are on day uh, 29 of austere August. I'm gonna soak my uh, boar brush here. This is a Whip Dog 24 millimeter boar brush. I prefer soaking mine in a little jar like this. And that's how I get it wet before the shave. After the shave, we will use Afta Fresh. I've been using that all month. A little feminine smelling, but every once in a while it would change. My nose maybe must have been smelling something different. Uh, lather bowl. Hey, you know what's different today? I'm going to go for a face lather. I'm going to put that away. Um, here's the uh, a box of Williams mug, about $1.50. If you pay more than $2 for it, don't do that because you can get on Amazon and e or eBay for um, less than $2 if you look hard enough. Um, this is the dart with the Nasset blade already in it. There's the blade. It's been a, a really great razor this month. Um, this is the machined version. It's got kind of machine marks on the underside. A little bit of soap scum there since I, I think it's time to clean this thing. Uh, since I've been using the same one, same blade all month, I just keep the, keep the blade in there. And that prevents the edge from getting any, any kind of damage while I might handle it. And here is the, right before I started the video recording, I set the uh, hot water in on the puck there. So that's been on there for maybe about five minutes or so. And uh, I'll talk about what we're going to do and then we'll do it. And by that time, probably about a seven minute, eight minute soak on the soap. So um, I'm going to try again with a face lather. About in the middle of August, I did a, face a couple of face lathers and they didn't really go too well, um, at least not efficiently. Um, the, uh, I wasn't doing a hot water soak, so that's something that's different between then and now. Uh, and um, I would end up just with a really bubbly lather, as, as I think a lot of people do. And uh, uh, eventually, if I would go back to the puck for more soap, then it would work out. Uh, but that first pass was really rough. So uh, uh, let's just... Let's try it again. Let's see what happens this time with the warm soap. I've discovered that with a bowl lather that 20 seconds gives me plenty of lather. So I'm just going to do a 10 second load for, the, for my face lather because maybe I'll do another 10 seconds on the third pass or something like that. I mean, who knows? Maybe all I need is seven, but I'm just going to start at a, a 10 second load um, and we'll see what happens. All right. Get my face wet. About a 24 hour growth, maybe 23. And um, my water is hard and I use whatever comes out of the cool tap. All right, so we're gonna dump out the bloom water. Dump out the soak water. Take my brush, just lift it out of the uh, soaking um, thing, and if you turn turn it on its side, that groups up the water to give it enough to drip some more. I'm gonna do about one, two, three, four shakes because we're just doing the face instead of a big old bowl lather. So let's just uh, start here. Um, so 10 second load. All right, we're starting at 25 on my counter there. And then five, four, three, two, one, boom. 10 seconds. Now, uh, I'm gonna splash a little bit of more water on my face just to make sure we're good. Let's just see what happens, I have no idea. Um, one thing I've learned with the bowl I found a uh, guy's advice. Looks like I've got plenty of water here. Um, 
I found a guy's advice online and he led me to uh, it was a YouTube comment and I've referenced that the last few days but uh, his point was that um, you uh, the hot was important then load heavy and then switch to the bowl um, keep water in your brush before you load you know in the past with other soaps I use a technique where I um, slowly add the water um, as I uh, am stirring up the lather because most soaps they start real thick and then you add water as you go there are probably some soaps out there that where you could add all the water in the beginning, you know, but a lot of them aren't that way. This is not too bad. I'm just putting the excess that comes out of the bottom of my neck uh, in my shave cup, the uh, in the same cup that I have for the the soap, because otherwise it's just going to fall off. Let's see if this thing turns creamy. It feels really good. I saw somebody mention that they tried to use Williams for face lathering and they were using it quickly. You know, like 30 seconds to whip up the lather, or throw it on your face, shave in one minute, then, you know, rinse off and shave in another minute kind of thing. And, I don't think Williams was made for that. This looks really good. This lather feels really good. And hey, whatever I just pulled off, let's just do a little test. A little bit of cushion. Um, you know, it's 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 slick, uh, but I, I can still feel easily feel the ridges in my uh, fingertips, and so it's definitely not, you know, like rich and creamy. Um, I have been through this lather many times. Um, this level of slickness and it is, it'll shave just fine. It'll give me a great shave. Just kind of collecting up the extra. And this is kind of what I don't like about face lathering. Kind of mix it all in the beginning and you rinse it all away. Now let's switch to the painting. So maybe those four uh, drops of four shakes were not quite enough. Maybe do six shakes or something like that. Another thing I'm interested to see, is there a, um, is there an equivalency where you can, uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, not bad. Is there an equivalency kind of thing where you can um, just kind of load for longer and use cold water? So this lather is workable, but it doesn't come close to the, uh, at least on the first pass. Of course, this is an aggressive razor. Can't forget that. I'm definitely feeling the blade. Not as uh, smooth and enjoyable as some of the other lathers I've made, usually from the bowl. Now the second and the third are probably going to be much nicer. Do a little rinse.
not very much of one. Maybe we'll keep some slickness on my face. See if that helps. Go back to my brush. See if it's got enough soap for the for this pass. Looks pretty good. grab some of that little bit of that extra that you know I pulled off that was going to fall on my shirt from the first pass yeah that's good I think with that let's roll with it another uh, boar hair this guy's about 31 uses old he's doing great loses a Hair every now and then that's not a problem unless you've you know had it for 300 uses uh, I usually start to worry maybe after after uh, 60 70 uses if it keeps shedding after that you may have may have a problem all right cross grain here Changing the angle of my razor to help with the bite, to make it not bite quite so hard. Bring the handle a little bit closer to the surface of my skin. Turns it from like a 7 out of 10 in terms of aggression, at least for me into a like a very manageable comfortable irritation free five out of ten so this is a pretty fast shave here because of the face lathering And a little quick half rinse. That was a little more than I wanted. Just have it. And now I don't think I have enough soap on here. So let's just dig out the kind of the dollop that was resting on top of the puck. Try to keep it from, um, I may have left my face a little too wet. That dollop is kind of airy and so we may have to mix it a little bit more. That's a, one of the issues with face lathering. You don't, it takes uh, practice to get that same consistency with from the first pass all the way to the third. Um, it's like this brush right here it just it doesn't hold enough it's too young to hold enough lather to make it to the third pass so right now we're kind of working this lather a little bit to work the bubbles out turn it into what I ended up with for the first pass, decently soft tips on this brush. Comfortable. Really like it. I've been glad I chose it. I wanted to put some put some miles on it since I just got it before austere August. And I didn't I was away from home at the beginning of the month. It kind of caught me by surprise. And I happened to have this brush with me. And so I didn't have too many choices. But it worked out. Really enjoying it. Just rinsing the uh, handle. So it doesn't slip. Slip out. 
It looks pretty good. A little thin, but all right. Should work fine. Third pass. Comfortable. I mean, I can tell that the blade is aging just a little. It's not quite as kind of smooth as it was in the very beginning. But it's still cutting great. And so I'm probably going to keep going with it even after austere August is over. Just to wonder how long I can go. I don't know if I can join that hundred club. Gentle around here, try and hold it onto the Hold the blade edge onto the skin with as little pressure as I can get away with. Not a lot of skin stretching, but just try not to make it move and hill up, you know, to where it catches on something. And that's the third pass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a half rinse and we'll do that uh, little halfway pass. Nice slickness left over on my face oh i went up on my cheeks i didn't need to this is just the neck only pass just to help those guys right here is the trouble trouble area notice this is this is thin you don't have to have santa claus's beard some guys are shaving with a lather that's much too dry and they could really get connected with some a good amount of slickness if they would thin down their lather a little bit hydrate it really well bump up that slickness factor I mean not everybody a lot of people think it needs to look like uh, you know big and puffy and that's something that might look good in a picture. In a shave of the day photograph or something. Gentle. Really watching my pressure and angle here. And there we go. I'm going to rinse off. All right, the result is great. Above average for me, for sure. And that's above average for a blade that's on three uses, not 31. Um, a few little hairs around here have a little bit of length on them, but the rest are cut flush. It's very nice. Um, I don't go against the grain on my neck area. It causes too much irritation. Otherwise, I'm sure those would be gone as well, and, and it would be a piece of cake. But for you who can't, for you guys who can't go against the grain, you might have similar experiences as I do. Uh, face feels great. Now let's put on some of this alcohol-infused lotion, gel, whatever it is, and see if I get any stinging. I don't get any stinging then I, I had really good oh wow just a little tiny tiny bit not very much at all so good technique that time that's also something that will help the blade to go farther um, it's good smooth proper technique is is what I've been told by guys who regularly take blades to 100 120 uses all right, excellent, excellent. So the uh, 10 second load for the face lather was a good idea. Um, I mean, I, I could probably reduce it a little bit because I did have to kind of go back to the mug anyway. And uh, you saw I was kind of having to manage some of the globs, um, you know, but it's pretty uh, conservative on the soap because what do I have left over but just what's in this brush and so that's a better
conservation of, of soap. Um, Economy-wise, you know. Um, I'd say it's a pretty good technique. It didn't get, it never got to creamy. But it was, it was pleasant. Like I said, the first, uh, um, pass was a little on the rough side because it just hadn't uh, gotten to be as slick as it needed to yet. Possible I could help that with uh, doing a pre-wash or something. Um, a, a different razor uh, that's maybe not quite as aggressive as the dart might be uh, might help with that. But uh, I think that was a very viable face lather. Um, you know what I might try tomorrow is not do the hot water soak and just uh, see. That's one option. Uh, see how um, just lather it, just soak it. I mean, uh, load it. I don't know, twenty seconds, uh, just with cold and. Um, See what happens. See if I get the same thing or close to it. It'd be worth a shot. So that's one thing I could try. Uh, and that might be the thing that I try because my, my focus was on two different avenues. Um, one with getting a good face lather and another one on uh, changing, moving away from the hot soak into how much load time does it take to get that. Can I just add to my load time and get that same amount of lather. But I mean, come on, I, it's very convenient for that hot soak because I just start it right before my prep stuff. Um, and so it, it soaks for seven minutes just as a course of my normal routine. So I don't really have a problem with that, but uh, we'll see what happens just for fun. I've only got Two more shaves in austere August and I've got a couple things that I want to accomplish with with Williams so maybe I'll do every other day with Williams until I kind of get my goals there anyway that's enough talk um, I'm gonna clean up my area and I'll be back uh, one disadvantage to this kind of shave since I um, needed to kind of remix the soap for the third pass was that um, uh, if my face had kind of some irritation from a, uh, a razor that was aggressive or a blade that I might like but and that gives me a close shave but treats my skin just a little rough to get to that point um, and then I rely on like a balm afterwards to fix it all then that uh, having to mix that lather again on that third pass like I did, you know, didn't feel as great um, with the brush going over the, uh, I think brush burn, they call it in some cases. And this is a nice soft brush, but if you've got tender skin from um, a rough or sharp, extra sharp, irritating type blade, then that can be a bother where the lather you get from a bowl and just uh, be used without doing the scrubbing type passes. You can paint it on, which feels great. So that's one slight disadvantage uh, to the face latherers. Uh, so everything's cleaned up. With every use of that blade, I step into new territory because I think 10 was max I had used a blade before, working through a sampler. So. The GSB blade I was using, I wasn't giving up anytime soon, but I just wanted to move on to try a different blade. I'm done with the sampler now, and so I'm really interested to see how far this NASA will go. I don't know, in, scientifically speaking, I kind of want to leave it in the one razor just to see, um, to have less variables. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I won't worry about controlling it that tightly. But anyway, so that was a quick shave. Um, I'd be interested to try it with a, uh, a more smooth razor to see if that first pass is a little nicer. 
And if it is, then I would consider this a, uh, you know, an enjoyable way to do um, the, the shave if you're maybe limited on time. I prefer the bowl a little bit better because that first, uh, first lather is just a little thicker and denser and then it stays that way for the whole shave um, when it comes from a bowl. So, uh, otherwise that's it. There we go. Great shave. No irritation at all. 31 uses. This blade's going to go farther for sure. Um, and uh, Williams, who knows, a couple weeks out of that one, it uh, comes to the amount of soap left in the mug. So we'll see. Plus, I had a couple of days where I did extra lathers because my first one screwed up for whatever reason. So it's probably more on the, uh, you know, 32 days, 33 uses out of that already. Well, there we go. Austere August is in the books. Um, at least day 29 is. So I hope this was uh, of help to you if you're a face latherer out there um, thinking about Williams. Um, this was with a badger brush. Now with a face lather, the choice of brush starts to get more important. Uh, because a big old boar knot, that especially this is a young badger, I mean a young boar, a big old badger knot is going to hold more uh, lather for you. So you may not need to remix for that third pass like I did. That could be a very different result for you. Anyway, hope there was something here that helped you and what you need. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care and good night.